Hey guys, Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I've been diving into modding for Baldur's Gate 3, and I did have a viewer comment if I could make a video or ask if I had a video about modding. And I don't actually have a tutorial on how to mod things yet for Baldur's Gate 3, so that's what today's video is about how you can go about modding Baldur's Gate 3 on your PC. For console players, I apologize. Whenever the new patch comes out, I'm not sure how modding for that's going to work, so this is a PC guide only. So before we get started, you will need to download a few different things. Starting off, you want some type of mod manager. Vortex, which is the Nexus Mods personal like mod manager you can download directly from their website, is very useful. And I did utilize this for games like Monster Hunter Rise and other games like Skyrim. But for Baldur's Gate 3, for whatever reason, I do find mod manager worked a little bit better for me when it came to making sure my mods kind of interacted with each other and I had a little bit more control. So use either that you think will be beneficial to you, but I'm going to be showcasing how to do it with Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, and this is the one I do prefer specifically for Baldur's Gate 3. Link in the description down below for everything we talk about in today's video, but the first link will be for the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. What you need is this zip file right here. Once you actually have it downloaded and you do have all the requirements installed and stuff like that, You'll have a folder that kind of looks like this. It has a bunch of different things. The mod manager right here, you can double click to install and install it where you want. Keep in mind though, you do want to remember where you install this at. All right, once you have your mod manager installed, the second thing you will need to download, regardless of what mod you use, will be the Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer. This is essentially what allows your PC and all the mods to interact with Baldur's Gate 3. How or why it does it, I really don't know. All I know is it is required. So when you're here on the Nexus mod page, just go to your files section. I already have it manually downloaded. You can manually download it and it will give you a file here that you do need to drag over in the appropriate section. So you will see it's the modfixer.pack. This is what you need to copy over. So in order to get to the destination that you need, and this should be it for majority of the people, it may be slightly different depending on where you have things saved, but I go to my C drive, users, my name, blood. I'm going to app data, local. You should have an option for Larian Studios, Baldur's Gate 3, and mods. And you can see modfixer.pack is right here. And for those that are wondering, well, why can't I see the information not everyone may have access to all the information like the app data because this is something that is usually hidden i will showcase how to open up the app data in case you can't see it so in case you cannot see the uh, excuse me in case you cannot see the app data portion you want to open up your control panel you're going to want to go ahead and go to file explorer you can just start typing that in and it'll be right there for you to see go to file explorer options it will open up a little window like this and what you're going to want to do is actually go to the section that will allow you to see hidden files folders and drives and click apply so when you take a look at this you can see how everything here if you go to view you have a section for everything you can see you want to make sure you click on the display options that we just talked about to see show hidden files folders and drives this is what you need to have applied in order to see the app data in case it is hidden for you. All right, guys. So there is another step that you should do before you actually download your mods for Baldur's Gate 3. That is going to download the Baldur's Gate 3 script extender. There will be two links I'm going to give you. One if you want to download this directly off the GitHub or one if you want to download directly off of Nexus mods. Not all mods require the script extender, but most do because it adds extra scripts, so essentially extra text for the game to read to allow for additional functions for certain mods. Uh, that's just a generalized statement on what it does. It's a little more complicated than that. But that's basically what it does is allow mods to be a little bit more complicated than normal. So in order to install this, all you have to do is go to your files, download, download it whichever way you want from here or the GitHub. Once you have it downloaded though, there is going to be something you need to do to install. So you can see on the Nexus page, it says you want to extract the file, this file here, and install it to your Steam, Steam apps, common, Baldur's Gate 3 slash bin. So for those who want to see what the file looks like, this is the file here. It's this DLL file. So in order to get to the section, you want to actually move this to. It's super easy. 
all you need to do is open up Steam. And when you have Steam opened, go to Baldur's Gate 3, go to Properties, go to Installed Files, and hit Browse. This will directly bring up wherever you have Baldur's Gate 3 installed. And then go to your bin file, and then that's when you can move over the file that you need over here. And you can see I have mine right there, which is my script extender. Now, before you actually install any mods, I want you to go ahead and open up Baldur's Gate 3, load up the game. You don't really need to do anything. Just load it up, make a character and get in game and then instantly quit. That way, if you're having any issues with the script extender actually reading because you did open Baldur's Gate 3 up once, it should automatically be fine going in the future. If not, then you will have to troubleshoot it, but more than likely if you did open up Baldur's Gate 3 once after installing the script extender and before installing any mods, you should be good to go. Alright guys, now that we had everything else already taken care of, you should be good to go to actually start installing mods. So I am here on the Nexus mods, we're going to install the Death Knight class, Champion of the Lich King, which is essentially taking Arthas and the Death Knights from World of Warcraft and putting it into Baldur's Gate 3. So make sure you have your mod manager up and you guys remember that file location I told you to keep in handy earlier about your mods. This is what we're going to actually use. If you don't know where this is in your mod manager, if you do have any mods installed still, go ahead and right click. I can hit open file and explore and it will showcase where my mods are. So for me, it's for this PC users, my name, blood, app data, local, Larian studios, Baldur's Gate 3, and then a mods folder. Keep this handy because this is where we're going to manually install the mod. So go ahead and minimize that for now. I'm actually going to close out the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager as well. Go to files and when you download the class, the reason I wanted to download this one specifically to show off is because this does require a few things. You can see it requires mod fixer, it requires script extender, it requires UI release ready and UI assets. These are all things you will need to download to utilize this mod. So we already had mod fixer and script extender installed. The improved UI things are two other mods. So some mods will require other mods in order to work. Not all, but some do. So that being said, install everything you need. Once you have everything installed, you can go ahead and download this. So now that this is downloaded, I'm going to have it up here. You can see this is the class, the WoW Death Knight class pack. I have my mod section here. So all I'm going to do is simply click this and drag it over to the mod folder. So with that being said, the mod is now installed here, but we're not good to utilize this yet. We're going to go ahead and close these folders. We're going to open up our mod manager now, and you're going to see something a little different. You can see I have the new mod I installed to the right and the mods currently installed to the left. So the way the mod manager works is everything to the right are mods you have downloaded that are not actually being used or installed yet. And you have mods to your left in order from all the way up top all the way to the bottom in priority of how the game loads them when it comes to data. So what I'm going to do is simply take my WoW Death Knight class and I'm going to move it over here to the left hand side. Take a look. Where is it at? Well, if you don't know where it is, you can type in WoW or whatever the name of the mod is. You can see this is at number 38. Do I want to keep it at number 38? Yeah, it's at the bottom. This didn't state on the installation guide on the website. It had to go in any specific order. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the bottom for now. What I want to do is go ahead and hit not only do I want to hit save order, that way I want to save this order so it will remember it for next time. I'm going to go to file and hit export to game, export order to game. That way it will go into the game now. And instead of opening Baldur's Gate 3 directly from Steam, I'm going to open it using this button here called launch game with the mod manager. All right, so I installed the new mod. So now that I have the game open, we're going to go to new game real quick just to try it out to see if it's there for me to create a brand new character and starting class, I guess you could say. So one thing you could do is easily, you know, load up the game and go to the character like trainer withers to respec. Instead, I'm just going to come down here and go to my class, come down and you can see the Death Knight class that we installed is here for us to use. It talks about the subclasses I can choose from. All seem pretty badass actually. 
you get the really cool looking starting gear too. This mod looks really fun, so I actually need to do a video on it since I do play World of Warcraft as well. And yeah, so that's how you install it. I mean, hopefully this guide helped you out. If you did, definitely comment down below and let me know. If you have any questions, I will try to help out when I can. I'm Ronan, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.